Out of the dense forest, one can see the mountain's real outline. Parts are covered with lush vegetation, and the rest are merely rocks. Are there any animals that live here? This bare rock wall is halfway up the mountain, dotted with some plants. The place is almost untraversed, except for these sprites. Every summer, the Asian house martins return to their rightful roost sites to breed their offspring. The old nest deep in a rocky depression is the object of Grand Prix races every year. It provides shelter and repels predators with its tricky location. The perfect spot is already occupied by veterans. Those cruder nests are much less crowded. This newcomer has settled down here. It seems unhappy with the decoration of its new home and commences the renovation. The soft, fluffy moss is the Asian house martin's favorite. Around 400 million years ago, the single-celled green algae came to land and evolved into moss. The moss adapts to the barren environment on the cliff and helps other plants take root and grow. The Asian house martin offers the moss a new purpose in life. This piece seems nice. Two other Martins who collect building materials also have their eye for the area. But this one doesn't share. Having spotted a new patch of clean moss, it is about to pick the materials when more neighbors join in the fun. Physical gestures don't seem to work. These competitors have no intention of leaving, and more and more Martins engage in the scramble. The sense of crisis is on the rise. No time to think. The material is the first priority. Finally, this piece looks good. It hides the trophy underneath. Although pretending that nothing happened, it is so nervous as to almost lose its footing while guarding the moss. There are more animals hiding on rock walls besides the Asian house martins. With their camouflage, the gorals walk up the stone slopes, searching for a quiet resting place. On the other side, a troop of Tibetan macaques climb fast. They are bound for the same destination.